How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. My name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back to my channel on this website that's called www. I shouldn't have gotten a black table because now when I do black bags as a review, it's not going to look very good. .com slash youtube.edu and today we are going to talk about the Peak Design 35 liter duffel bag. Let's get into it. Okay, so last week I did the Boundary Supply Aegis, which I still don't know if I'm saying that right. I guess Aegis, 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 duffel bag. And I said I was going to talk about the Peak because these two are very similar. And I think I've seen a lot of comments and questions and messages to me that's like, hey, can you do one or both or compare and stuff. So I figured I would just do both. And then if you guys want, comment on this video or go check out that Boundary Supply uh, duffel bag video. Comment if you want me to do a video comparing the two as like a side by side kind of thing with the same loadout, maybe some different loadouts, what you might want to see in a comparison video, let me know and I'll make that happen. But today we're going to focus on the Peak Design 35 liter. I have it here in black on my nice new black table back in the new studio, uh, still getting things set up, but uh, lots of cool things on this duffel bag. I want to talk about it, I want to get in depth, so let's do that, let's do that right now. Okay, so let's get into this thing starting with the materials. Now, as always, I will pull this directly from their website as soon as I bring it up because I had it up and then I didn't have it up anymore. And I'm not stalling as I bring it back up because that would be absolutely absurd. Also, this comes in their uh, nice little uh, sage color, which is the same color that I did the other bags. Um, I have those in. Okay, so here we go. I see it wasn't stalling. I had all that good stuff to, to talk about. So here, um, here we go, 35 liter. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this up so you can kinda just see more of this wonderful thing. 35 liter exterior fabric is weatherproof, 100% recycled, 400D nylon canvas, 900D ottoman weave poly button fabric, woven nylon straps with hypalon nabuck leather accents on the sage option. Cool, lots of things there. Well, what I do like about this is the recycled 400D nylon canvas. Great material there. Absolutely wonderful. It's two pounds when it's uh, empty. They actually provide that information. And look, overall, it's a very sturdy, good material. Um, very similar to they have on their other bags. Very water resistant. Uh, it's got this nice, on the opening here, it's got this nice like little guard here, as you can see. So, And then the zippers on the side, you got a main zipper on the side, is uh, got a weather guard seal, and then the other zippers are protected by this nice, like little hypalon uh, rain flap cover type deal. So, very water resistant, very durable materials, very good looking materials, and great feeling materials. Now, the straps on this bag, like the boundary, I'm gonna take some time and dive into those because this is a duffel bag. And unlike the boundary, in the backpack mode, I have found, um, I don't know what it's supposed to do. Okay, so what I mean by that is I feel like the backpack is supposed to be these, there's um, another set of loops right here, and I feel like those are supposed to be the backpack, but it, these handles don't work for the backpack, but I've only got one of these for backpack mode. So I'm not 100% sure how this works in backpack. How I've been doing it in backpack mode, I'll just stand up and show you this whole thing as we're talking about it is I honestly when I did backpack mode I just kind of kept these handles where they are and then just kind of did it like that but the thing is you know I'm 5'8 you know 165 pounds um so this is it's kind of works for me but like this is uncomfortable and I don't really like it so if you know and I apologize that I don't because I've been trying to figure it out I've watched their video you know, I've gone through the Kickstarter when they announced these things because that's where I got it from. And like, I cannot for the life of me figure out how the backpack mode is supposed to work because it's not as straightforward as I thought it would be. There's no, like, I'm not missing any pieces for it. 
I just, I think it's supposed to be this trap moves to it and maybe I'm just supposed to have another one. But um, duffel bag carry, all right? You got a couple different options. You can go straight across like this, right? And you can do the, the one shoulder or you can even, you know, do the cross body, which a lot of people like to do with the duffel bag. I got this nice, sturdy, nice foam material on the strap, so it's very comfortable on your shoulder. And then you can also adjust this if you want. You can undo it at its hooks, right? And you can attach it in these other hook spots. There's a few of them on this bag, and you can change it to where, if, you know, if you're a lefty or a righty, you can change these hooks to where you can do like a, a different type of, if you want to have it closer, or if you wanted to do it like this, or if you wanted to do it like this. You know, I mean, you can have a few different options, honestly. You have the two main points right here, and you've got on either side of those additional, which is where I have it hooked in now, there's one on each side. And as well as that, you also have two more on this side, right here, and that is it. So, a couple different locations to do a couple different things. My phone is going off, so I'm professional. Um, you also have the ability with uh, some of the last straps that um, Peak Design offers, you can utilize those on this bag as well, which is what I'd probably do on this side. Uh, so, a lot of different options for carry and this duffel bag strap, which for one, super easy to adjust on the fly thanks to this really cool integrated uh, little thing here that it's kind of, I should have shown this to you while it was on, but it's really easy to adjust. Nice foam padding and it's long and big. Long and big, that's what we like. Uh, sorry about that, that's a bad joke <laughs> for a strap. And then when it comes to the regular duffel bag straps, you know, they are just what you'd expect from Peak Design. You know, they're, they're comfy, they've got the magnets in them to kind of keep them together. You know, and honestly, they work. They work exactly how they're how they're supposed to. I really, I dig them. Got that nice, you know, webbing material. Good sturdy grab parts of the handle. That's what you want to call them, the grab parts. Uh, just overall, carrying this bag is very comfortable. The only thing I'm kind of bummed out about is I'm an idiot and I don't know how to do backpack mode. So I apologize. Don't at me in the comments or do. I don't really care because I tried everything. And if you know, let me know, because I feel really dumb for not knowing. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the pockets on this thing. Now, where this thing excels is having some points of external access. What this bag does not have, like a lot of duffels do, is a shoe compartment or a wet-dry compartment on the outside of the bag, like you saw on the Boundary, or other duffel bags that offer that feature. This does not. What it does have is on both sides, and they're pretty much identical, you've got a main large compartment that opens up into, and I'm gonna do my very best, well, you know what, we'll go, let me get out of what's in the smaller compartment. So in the smaller compartment, smaller compartment, you have a water bottle. This is their attempt at a water bottle pocket on a duffel bag. Obviously, you're not gonna have something that sits it straight up. So what they have is on both sides, these big deep pockets that, this is just like a regular hydro flask from Wandered that can fit in these pockets quite well. Um, it does stick out. If you notice, it does have a little bit of a bulge because it is a water bottle pockets in a sense. You could do this on both sides. Um, I, 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 that is better than putting a water bottle on the inside, I will admit. But what that does, is it does make it kind of difficult to get into the larger compartment because it's pushing up against it. So you might have to sacrifice a little bit of the organization of the pockets if that's the case. Because I'll show you when this water bottle is in here, you know, I this pocket becomes wicked tight towards the bottom. It's not so bad up top, but where the water bottle sits, it's definitely a little bit tighter. So I didn't put anything in this side because I wanted to kind of show you the best I can. Wait, basically what you have is you have three little dividers and then just one large compartment on uh, one side. All right, so if you can kind of see right there, that is one side of the Peak Design bag organization. Then you flip it around to the other side, right? And in the small compartment on this side, I have put my iPad mini because there is no laptop sleeve, there is no tablet sleeve. But if you have a smaller tablet like I do, 
um, which I'm not sure you know what the range is for small tablets, but I have this little iPad mini. It will fit in that outer part compartment where we had put the water bottle. So you have two, you can have a water bottle on one side and a small tablet or um, like a Nintendo Switch, something of that size of that nature if you wanted to have easy access to your electronics, smaller notebooks work, things like that. It's a good compartment for that if you're going to be using it. If this is like your carry-on, you want to be able to get your iPad out because you're going to watch movies or you want to get your Switch out because you're going to play Animal Crossing and grind and grind away at paying your house off or, you know, you're doing whatever. That's a good pocket. And then the other side, what I also did just to kind of fill out some of the organization bits is I put a small notebook in one of the dividers through a battery charger. And for those of you that have seen my boundary supply video, yes, this is almost the exact same layout that I had in that one to kind of already show you, you know, same loadout, different bag, same size in a way. Okay, so then you've got on this side, the, these dividers are a little different depending on which side you're on. On this side of the bag, you only have two of the mesh guys, and then on the opposite side, on so now the side closest to me, you've got a little spot here for, I guess, ID cards. Um, it is it says it says like ID, but like I don't know who just pulls out their license and puts it in here. It's a very bad idea. You know, keep it in your wallet or purse or whatever you carry, because if you're just putting a credit card in here. I would be mortified. I would be panicking every five seconds that it was either stolen, gone, lost, or not in there anymore. So I, I, I guess that's, a, that's that's all it's big for. That's like the, the exact size of it is like a business card. There's actually a business card that comes in it when you get it. So you can put like your name and stuff on it. I guess it's like where you can put your identity card if you wanted to like a luggage tag. It doesn't do much good if it's inside the bag in a little Velcro compartment, but that's what you get. So, and then you have a little strap here for like if you want to put like a key ring or something like that and that is basically your two compartments kind of just trying to show you the best I can because duffel bags are a little bit challenging best I can two dividers on this side three on this side little ID card and place for like a key clip clippy dip if you so need it and again great zippers weather guard seal on the outside nice little rain cover on the other minimal branding right here black on black on the sage it's, i think it's a brown like leather black on black just says peak design really really nice okay so that is it for the external organization on this bag four pockets uh two of them are the same and two of them have a little bit different organization bits another thing i didn't hit on is the zipper pulls now peak design is known and one of the main reasons i fully love them and support them and continue to get their products even though i probably should just stop buying bags all together because i have way too many as you can tell in my back catalog of reviews of bags, um, their hardware, their design, and their function. So one thing that I love about Pete Design is it, it, not only their zippers, but their zipper poles have these like, they got little finger loops, and that's on every single one, except for the ones on the outside just have like a little bit around them. So the outside ones are a little bit different, but these main ones have these nice little spots for your, your fingers. Then you open this bad boy up and it's a large mouth, opening right so you can easily see visibly what's down in your bag very easy to kind of pull stuff out and see both this and the boundary supply bag do a great job of having these nice large mouth openings so i'm going to just pull everything i have in here i don't have this fully packed out this is kind of like my minimal travel loadout I'm not going full travel loadout in a duffel bag because if i'm doing a full travel loadout i'm not using a duffel bag so this is just like a minimal three to five day trip maybe. I've got a hoodie in there. I've got my Topo design. This is kind of acting right now as my like tech kit where I keep like my cords and cables and chargers and knickknacks and stuff like that. I love these Topo design pouches. Um, in here I also have, and they were on top but they kind of slid off, my Sennheiser PX550, PXC550. I always say the name of it. PXC 550 noise canceling over the ear Bluetooth headphones. If you're looking for a good pair of over the ear headphones, I suggest these. My other go to headphones are my AirPod Pros. Um, that's just my opinion, but these are phenomenal noise canceling headphones. And then I threw, because there is not a shoe pouch like I mentioned on the side here, my Suave packable shoes. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love these shoes for travel, everyday use, packing. Like they're just phenomenal phenomenal shoes and then in here 
What I like about Pete Design and their travel line, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there, is everything is is kind of like measured by like cubes in a sense. So they have like their tech pouch, their wash pouch, a big packing cube, a small packing cube, small, medium, and large uh, camera cube that fits and is integrated with their duffel bag system as well as their travel uh, travel bag system. So with this one, what you can do is it fits up to I believe it's like three cubes. So what I have in here is the large Peak Design packing cube. Always put my clothes in this. It's a really good, sturdy packing cube. I recommend it highly if you're in the market for getting a packing cube. Carries all my clothes for like a three to five day trip. But then, so that takes up what is considered like two, like these cube units or whatever they're called. And the other thing I have in here is the Peak Design wash pouch. Now this is a little bit of a bigger wash pouch than what I typically use. I favor um, for my personal favorites, I like the gravel ones, the small and the large from Work by Gravel. Um, I absolutely love those because I think they're just kind of perfect. This is a little bit larger, um, but it, it integrates really well with the or travel systems. So because it's a cube unit and it easily fits in there. Dop kit video uh, coming very, very soon. I will go over like about, I think I have like six or seven different dop kits. I'm going to go through each one, a few minutes on each one, just showing you everything, get you an idea. But yeah, so the reason I, I threw those in here specifically is just to kind of showcase this is a cube unit type of thing. I believe it's like three cube units or four. I think it's three or four, some, somewhere in there. I don't really pay attention to that because I'm not measuring all of my stuff out by cube units, but you could fit the large packing cube, the small packing cube. You could fit the large packing cube and the tech pouch and wash pouch, or the small packing cube and the tech pouch and wash pouch. You get what I'm saying? I don't need to sit here and explain this. Okay, so you have, this is the main chasm of this bag. Okay, so inside of here, you do have a little bit of internal organization and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna show you. But on both sides, you have just a small zippered mesh guy. It's on both sides, just to put, I guess, a little extra of small things if you want it, right? No dimension really built into these, just on either side. And not a lot you can really, really typically do with those. I mean. Um, like a battery charger you could, uh, maybe like an extra phone if you have it, I don't know. Anything like that, you could definitely put in there. So overall, it's a very large opening bag. It fits a lot of stuff. It can definitely fit more than just a little bit of stuff that I have right here. I could probably fit like in a small packing cube or a thick jacket on top or more tech pouches and stuff like that. There's definitely room left in this after I'm done but I don't pack super heavy anymore. I try to pack as light as I possibly can because I just like carrying less these days. I'm just like, I don't even, I don't even care, man. So yeah, in a nutshell, this is the Peak Design uh, duffel bag, the 35 liter duffel bag. I don't have the 65 or 60 liter one, um, so I won't be covering that um, because it's basically just like a bigger version of this, is the way I can tell, and I don't really need another big duffel bag, I already have a, a 60 liter one, and I have no practical use for those. So, but this is the one I want to show because I just did the boundary supply one, and I feel like these bags are very similar, and one might fit your taste as opposed to the other. They're both pretty darn good in my opinion. I definitely like using both of them. Um, like I said, if you want a full comparison with my opinion on which one I would use for certain things and which ones I wouldn't use for certain things, let me know in the comments below, and we'll, we'll, I'll shoot that video, I'll make it. We'll make it and I'll if you guys have any questions I'll try to answer them in that uh, in that video so but Pete design love this thing love that company they're they're always doing wonderful things and yet again just another product that they produced so with all of that if you have any questions comments concerns about the Pete design 35 liter duffel bag let me know in the comments below and there's a product you want me to get my hands on to do a review on for you let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make that happen uh, email me odiematthewsbags at gmail.com. Any questions or talk or whatever, man. Like if you want more pictures, videos, whatever, you just, of the bags, you know, just let me know. We'll make that happen. We'll have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. We'll have a chat. Uh, thank you guys so very much for subscribing. Like this video if you'd like to. That super helps. Um, appreciate all the love and support. And I will see you guys uh, next time.